Leave Insert Higher Level Maths 2021. This is the solution video to paper two, question one. So question one is a probability question. Uh, in a particular population, 50% of people are left footed. A soccer team of 11 players, including one goalkeeper, is picked at random from the population. Find a probability that there is exactly one left footed player on the team and give your answer correct to three decimal places. So if there's one left footed player, that means there's 10 right footed players. So I'm gonna start with the left footed player. So the probability of being left footed is 0 0.15. And there's one of them, so that will be raised to the power of one. Then you move on to the right footed players. So the probability of a player being right footed is 0 0.85. And there's 10 of them, so you raise that to the power of 10. And then you need to figure out how many ways can this happen. So there's 11 players overall, and we want 11 choose one ways of being able to do this. So if you type that into your calculator, that should be equal to 0 0.325. Correct to three decimal places. In part B then, find a probability that less than three players on the team are left footed. Give your answer correct to two decimal places. So less than three left footed means either zero left footed, one left footed, or two left footed. So we have two already. Um, now, in order to do this, what I'm gonna do is find the probability that there's zero left footed players. So the probability of zero left footed players means everybody is right footed. So that would be 0 0.85 to the power of 11. And that's equal to one, 0 0.167. Then I'll get the probability that one person is left footed. Well, we've already done that, that's up here. That's 0 0.325. And then the probability that two people are left footed. So the probability that two people are left footed would be the probability of left footed. We want two of them, so to the power of two times the probability of being right footed, so 0 0.85. We want nine of them. And then how many ways can this happen? This is 11 choose two. So it's times 11 choose two. So that's equal to 0 0.287. And then to get the overall probability that less than three players are left footed, you add the three of these together. So that's the probability that uh, there's less than three left footed players is equal to some of them, which is 0 0.78, correct to two decimal places. And then onto part C, it says the goalkeeper is left footed. Find the probability that at least eight of the remainder of the team are right footed. Give your answer correct to two decimal places. So for this one, we can basically ignore the goalkeeper and he is left footed. So there's no probabilities there. We're told that he is left footed. So we're just now looking at a team of 10. So we want to know what's the probability that at least eight of them are right footed out of a team of 10. So that would be the probability of eight right footed players plus the probability of nine right footed players plus the probability of 10 right footed players. So if we have, say we'll go with the easy one first, so the probability of 10 right footed players is 0 0.85 and that's to the power of 10 that's equal to 0 0.1969. Uh, for nine players then, that means one of them is left footed. So same as before, 0 0.15 to the power of one times 0 0.85. This time it's to the power of nine because there's 10 altogether. And how many ways can that happen? That's gonna be 10 choose one this time. And that works out to be 0 0.347. And then the probability of eight right-footed players, that is 0 0.15. There's gonna be two left-footed players, and then times 0 
times eight right footed players. And how many ways can this happen? That can happen 10, choose two ways. And if you work that out onto the calculator, you get 0 0.276. And then you just get the sum of the three of them. So the probability of, what is it, at least eight. So the probability that it's greater than or equal to eight, let's just say, is equal to the sum of those, which is 0 0.82, correct, to two decimal places. Okay, so if you have any questions, just ask in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.